everybody now i am going to discuss the ncert back exercise problem 34 of chapter solution and the problem is vapor pressure of water at 293 kelvin is 17.535 mm hg calculate the vapor pressure of water at 293 kelvin when 25 g of glucose is dissolved in 450 g of water we need to find out the vapor pressure of water when 25 g of glucose is present it means we need to find out the partial pressure of the water so firstly we are writing what is given to us so we have given the vapor pressure of water that is p not it is 17.535 mm of mercury and the mass of solute that is glucose is given to us is 25 g and mass of solvent that is water is 450 g in is to find out the partial pressure of water that is vapor pressure of water in the presence of glucose means we need to find out the partial pressure of the water this is our aim so what is we are going to use what is the basic concept we are going to apply it is the rolls law of partial pressure now according to the rolls law partial pressure of a component is equal to the vapor pressure of pure component into the mole fraction of the component means if we need to find out the vapor pressure of the water in the presence of glucose it means we need to find out the partial pressure of water which is equal to the vapor pressure of the pure water into the mole fraction of the water in the solution vapor pressure of pure water that is p not a it is already given to us it is 17.535 mm of mercury it is already given to us so we need to find out the mole fraction of the water now mole fraction of water is mole of a divided by the total mole of the solution that is mole of water plus mole of the glucose we are taking the na to be the mole of solvent that is water and nb to be the mole of the glucose now we need to find out the mole of the glucose as well as the mole of the water mass of the glucose is given to us and the mass of the water is already given to us firstly we are finding the mole of the water it is given mass by the molar mass and the mass of water is given is 450 g so it is 450 by 80 so it means mole of water is 25 now we can find out the mole of the glucose again by using the same formula that is given mass by the molar mass and the mass of the glucose is 25 g and the molar mass of the glucose is 180 so the mole of the glucose is 0.1389 8.9 mole now we can simply place the value over here so the partial pressure of water that is a it is the vapor pressure of the pure water which is 17.535 into mole of the water 25 upon 25 plus 0.1389 so by simplifying we can find out the partial pressure of the water means vapor pressure of water in the presence of the non volatile solute that is glucose it come out to be 17.438 mm of hg 